Beneath the tranquil streets of Helsinki, Finland's coastal capital, an extraordinary realm unfolds, concealed within the depths of ancient bedrock. A sprawling network of tunnels and chambers extends for miles, some carved 100 feet below the surface. This is no ordinary subterranean infrastructure. It is an underground city, encompassing 10 million square meters, where shopping malls bustle with activity, hockey rinks resound with the clash of sticks, and data centers hum with the digital pulse of a nation. Swimmers glide through cavernous pools, go-karts speed through rocky corridors, and pedestrians navigate vibrant passageways, sheltered from the Nordic winter's chill. Yet this subterranean marvel serves a purpose far beyond leisure. It embodies a nation's resilience, ingenuity, and a steadfast commitment to safeguarding its people. Why has Helsinki, a city modest in scale by global standards, constructed one of the world's most ambitious underground networks? What drives this endeavor, and what does it reveal about Finland's ethos? Let us descend into Helsinki's underground city to explore a narrative of innovation, preparedness, and a vision that reaches deep into the earth. Helsinki rests on a peninsula, its skyline framed by the Baltic Sea's icy expanse. Above ground, the city exudes understated elegance, compact buildings, verdant parks, and a harbor alive with ferries bound for distant shores. Space, however, is a precious commodity, constrained by water and a rocky landscape that resists sprawling growth. Beneath the surface lies a geological treasure, ancient, stable bedrock, perfectly suited for excavation. This natural asset underpins Helsinki's subterranean ambitions. While other cities soar skyward to accommodate expansion, Helsinki has chosen to delve downward, transforming its underworld into a parallel city that serves daily life while preparing for extraordinary circumstances. The result is a labyrinth of over 400 tunnels and chambers, with plans for hundreds more, guided by a unique underground master plan, the only such blueprint in the world. This strategic vision integrates commerce, culture, and civil protection into a cohesive network, reflecting a society that plans with precision and foresight. Enter this subterranean domain, and its vitality is immediately apparent. In the city's core, the Asima Tunneli complex connects the central railway station to thriving commercial hubs like Forum and Kampi. Envision well-lit corridors adorned with shops, bakeries, and cafes, where residents purchase essentials or linger over tea, untroubled by the snow blanketing the streets above. These are not mere passageways, they are dynamic centers, open late and on holidays, serving as a vital artery in a city where winter's darkness and cold dominate for months. Further afield, the Itakeskis Swimming Hall, Europe's largest underground pool, welcomes visitors with its tropical motifs, a whimsical contrast to the granite encasing it. In Marihaka, a coastal district, a sports facility hosts ice hockey matches, its rink hewn from rock, while children explore an adventure cave filled with slides and climbing structures. Even go-kart tracks and cultural spaces, such as the Amos Rex Art Museum with its adaptable underground galleries, flourish below ground, their designs harmonizing with the bedrock's natural contours. This is a city that embraces its subterranean spaces, infusing them with life and purpose. The true brilliance of Helsinki's underground city lies in its dual functionality. Every recreational space, be it a hockey rink, shopping arcade or swimming pool, serves an additional critical role, a shelter. The network includes over 5,500 bunkers, designed to accommodate 900,000 people, surpassing the city's population. These are not stark, utilitarian refugees. They are woven into the fabric of daily life, equipped with reinforced concrete walls, air purification systems, and supplies to sustain occupants for weeks. The Itakeskis pool, for example, can be drained within a day, converting into a shelter for thousands, 
complete with blast-proof doors and pressure valves. Underground parking facilities like those in Tolo can transform into vast bunkers in mere hours. The Marihaka Sports Complex, with its rinks and play areas, is engineered to become a fortified sanctuary if required. This seamless integration of leisure and protection is deliberate, reflecting a society that values preparedness without sacrificing the joys of the present. The origins of this underground city are rooted in Finland's complex history and geography. Sharing an 833-mile border with Russia, Finland has long navigated the challenges of proximity to a powerful and unpredictable neighbor. From its time as a Russian duchy in the 19th century to the devastating Winter War, when Soviet bombs struck Helsinki, the shadow of external threats has shaped the nation's outlook. During the Cold War, Finland maintained a policy of neutrality, eschewing military alliances to avoid provocation. Yet, neutrality demanded vigilance. Legislation mandated bomb shelters in all buildings exceeding 1,200 square meters, resulting in thousands of bunkers. Concurrently, Helsinki began excavating tunnels, initially for utilities such as power lines and water systems. Planners soon recognized the potential for a broader network, one that could enhance urban life while providing security. By embedding shelters within everyday spaces, Helsinki ensured their upkeep and accessibility, avoiding the neglect that plagues abandoned bunkers elsewhere. This dual-purpose ethos extends to the city's most forward-thinking initiatives. Beneath the Uspensky Cathedral, a data center operates, its servers cooled by Baltic seawater in an exemplar of sustainable design. The surplus heat generated is not squandered. It is channeled into the district heating system, warming homes above ground. This facility is more than a data hub. It is a model of resource efficiency, harnessing the bedrock's natural insulation to reduce energy consumption. Similarly, a 2.5-kilometer service tunnel beneath the city center facilitates deliveries to shops and eateries, alleviating surface traffic. In eastern Helsinki, an underground karting track offers excitement while serving as a potential refuge. Even the world's second longest rock tunnel, stretching 120 kilometers to deliver fresh water from Lake Pajene, underscores the audacity of Finland's subterranean vision. These projects are not merely functional, they are a declaration of a city that transforms limitations into possibilities. Helsinki's underground city also addresses practical challenges posed by its environment and geography. Nordic winters are formidable, with temperatures plummeting below zero and daylight reduced to a fleeting few hours. The tunnels provide a climate-controlled haven, enabling residents to move from metro stations to commercial centers without facing the elements. The Kampi Complex, a multifaceted hub of shops, restaurants, and transport terminals, is linked by subterranean pathways that keep the city's pulse steady regardless of snow or ice. This connectivity is indispensable in a region where winter can disrupt surface mobility. Moreover, the underground liberates surface space for parks, pedestrian zones, and cultural landmarks, preserving Helsinki's compact, human-centric character. By relocating parking, utilities, and industrial facilities below ground, the city fosters a harmonious balance between urban development and green spaces, enhancing its livability. Nevertheless, the underground city invites scrutiny. Some contend it is a vestige of Cold War anxieties, an expensive precaution against an improbable threat. Maintaining 10 million square meters of tunnels and bunkers entails significant costs. Ventilation systems, structural inspections, and emergency provisions require ongoing investment. Critics question whether these resources might be better allocated to pressing surface needs, such as affordable housing or healthcare, in a city where cost of living pressures are rising. Others highlight the psychological burden of a society perpetually poised for crisis. The bunkers, with their reinforced doors and filtration systems, serve as a subtle reminder of vulnerability, particularly given Finland's proximity to a geopolitically volatile neighbor. While recreational spaces mitigate this tension, they cannot fully dispel the underlying purpose, 
readiness for catastrophe. Equity is another concern. Although public spaces like Compi and Itakeskis are accessible to all, many bunkers are privately owned, situated beneath residential or commercial buildings. This raises questions about fairness in a crisis. Would shelter access be universal, or would it favor those with means? City authorities assert that public bunkers outnumber private ones, ensuring inclusivity, but the network's vastness complicates oversight. Environmental considerations also loom. Excavating bedrock is energy-intensive, and while initiatives like the Seawater Cooled Data Center prioritize sustainability, the cumulative ecological impact of such extensive construction remains a point of debate. These critiques do not diminish the underground city's ingenuity, but underscore its complexity, revealing a project that is as multifaceted as the tunnels themselves. As one strolls through Helsinki streets, the underground city remains unseen, hinted at only by discrete markers, a ventilation shaft, a reinforced entrance. Yet its presence is palpable, a silent partner in the city's rhythm. It is a place where one can purchase a book, swim a lap, or cheer a goal, all within spaces engineered to endure calamity. This duality is Helsinki's triumph, a city that thrives in the moment while preparing for an uncertain future. The underground network, with its 10 million square meters of malls, rinks, and data centers, transcends mere infrastructure. It is a philosophy, a testament to the belief that foresight and creativity can navigate even the deepest uncertainties. In Helsinki, 100 feet below street level, that belief feels like a covenant, a pledge that life in all its vivid, resilient beauty will prevail. Thank you for joining us on this journey into Helsinki's extraordinary underground city, a hidden world of innovation and resilience. We'd love for you to like, comment, and subscribe to explore more urban marvels with us. What's the most incredible underground space you've come across? And how does it compare to Helsinki's visionary network?